We know now the kids are keeping in classrooms. It's a year long feat that we're trying to do. So now to Chesterfield, where we're talking about a possible dangerous ride for schools, high school students in particular, as parents are worried for their safety. Students forced to sit four per seat some even sitting or standing in the aisle. 8 News reporter Madison Moore is taking action, speaking with two Cosby High School parents who say overcrowding on the bus is not only unsafe, but completely unacceptable. Madison, good evening. Eric, good evening. Yeah, this is definitely not the best way to start the school year. Yesterday, two buses from Cosby High School were actually so overcrowded, it forced some students to sit in the floor for the ride. I've never felt like my kid was unsafe on a Chesterfield bus until yesterday. It was when Chris Barna's 10th grader Jade sent him this picture of their overcrowded bus on the way home from school. Jade texting him while on the ride, saying students forced to sit with up to four people in the same seat, others sitting and standing in the aisle. If that bus were to get into an accident, someone could get killed. Barna and his wife rely on the bus for Jade to get to school, but if this situation continues, that will change. If I have to consistently leave work early to pick my kid up so they're not in an unsafe situation, I mean, I guess that's what I have to do. Barna found out this wasn't a unique situation. Other students on a different Chesterfield bus route experiencing the same overcrowding. You see sophomore Maggie Hall's point of view, saying she had to sit on the floor, her only option. The Virginia Department of Education says a conventional school bus capacity ranges up to 30 students, but Maggie said her bus had over 40 bodies. Maggie's mother, Miranda Hall, tells me she's outraged. I told her from this point forward that, you know, to stay back, make them come back and get her. We send our ch children to school thinking that they're going to be safe, not just inside the school, but on the way to and from school. And the... Sean Smith, spokesperson for Chesterfield Public Schools, says safety and security are their top priorities and making adjustments to those routes as fast as possible. Live in Chesterfield tonight, Madison Moore, 8 News. Madison, thanks.